Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to cover how you're going to export um, site information. For example, um, aerial photographs from Google Earth Pro. Okay, and how you would use this information in your um, AutoCAD file. So using AutoCAD to use the site information to scale it up to the correct scale and then use this as context that you can work over in AutoCAD. So the goal here is to get some site information. It can be a scanned object, provided you have a scale that you can work with. And then taking this information, putting it into, um, putting this information into AutoCAD and then scaling the image up to the correct scale. Okay. All right, so let's have a look at the site information that I have currently. I'm just gonna wait for this to reload. Let's get to days. Yeah, that will work well. North up, north up. So first thing you want to do is make sure it's orientated correctly if you're using Google Earth. The reason why I'm using Google Earth as well, because I can export this image with a scale bar. Okay. We did talk about this a bit in, in first year where we use this image in SketchUp. So it's pretty much the same principle, except we're going to use AutoCAD now so we can start producing more of a technical documentation. Okay. So the first thing is make sure Get the site context that you want to work with, and then you're going to press north and up, north and up. Make sure it's orientated north, and make sure that there's no angle. Okay, so north, up, north, up. Okay, so using N on your keyboard and U for up. Okay, all right, now that I've got the site, you're going to simply go and say File, Export. Okay, you're going to go and say Save As, Save Image. And there's some things, if you're going to use um, Google Earth Pro, you can see here I've got my scale bars, which I need. I'm going to go and set the resolution. So I'm going to use uh, 4K, which is a good resolution. And you can see here's my scale bar, 40 meters. Okay. And then I'm going to go and switch off. I want scale. I want my compass. I don't want a legend and I don't want a title description. Okay. I'm going to save this image. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. Okay. I'm going to call this site. Okay. All right, so now we're going to open up AutoCAD. I've opened up AutoCAD using my template file. Okay, but nothing stopping you in the beginning. You can just simply open up AutoCAD using your own um, ACAD. Doesn't matter. This is the standard template file that AutoCAD uses to open up. Okay, so you've got two options now. So let me just put this on this. So you've got the first option, you can drag and drop the image in. Okay. And I'm going to put this at my origin, so 0, 0, 0, enter. And then it's going to ask you to put a scale factor. I'll just leave that all that because I've got a scale bar here that I'm going to use to scale this image up by. Okay. So remember, we always draw a one to one in AutoCAD. So this will be 20,000, uh, sorry, 40,000 millimeters will equal to 40 meters. Okay. So we always work in millimeters. All right. So now that I've got the image in, this is the first option. You can drag and drop it. Or alternatively, let me just get rid of this image. You can go to view and you can use the XREF. You can use the XREF tool. We'll do the same. You can see here was this image already. Detach. You can go and simply attach the image again. Here you can go and find your desktop and you can load in your site image again. And here it's going to ask you to specify an origin. 0, 0, 0. Enter, enter. And that's it. Okay, so that's the second option. Or alternatively, you can simply type an XREF and it'll open up that same dialog box where you can insert this image. I like this option because it'll unload and reload. Just remember, you can't ever embed an image in AutoCAD, it's always linked in. So if you delete where this file is located on your machine, you will have to go and relocate it and relink it in. And there's these tools that you can simply, when you select the image, you can say reload all references and you can. If it's missing, you, you can go and re-load it in somewhere. Okay. Put it on a good layer. So maybe if we go to home, we go to layers, make a new layer and call it image. And put this image on that image layer. So it means that you can control this image later on. So here I've just opened up properties. Control 1 opens up properties. I'm going to change this to image. Okay. Just means that if I lock the image layer, like we did in in... in SketchUp will lock that. Okay. 
Now the next thing we need to do is to start scaling this image correctly. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go and find the scale tool. Okay. So I'm going to go to Home tab, Modify. I'm going to grab Scale. I'm going to select the object that I want to scale. The first thing it's going to ask you for is a base point. So I'm going to pick a base point. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to pick that as my base point. And then I'm going to use R for reference. So reference means it's asking here, copy or reference. I want to use a reference because I've got a reference dimension that I want to scale with. So I'm going to say click from there and I'm going to click press F8. So lock it on the X and Y axis. And from, so from there to there, as best as you can, zoom in right in the middle of the line to there, it's going to be 40,000. Double click. Now, if I go and measure, this area over here so use my measure tool and click distance so from there to there should be 40,000 more or less okay and you can see 39,000 so this is correct so it means now if I start tracing the stuff line F8 so if I start tracing this information okay it means that I'm starting to work accurately. So one to one. Yes, when I put this information on my sheet, then I can change its scale to one to 1,000. So if you wanted to copy this, for example, then you can change this. Okay, so let me just quickly set up my page setup manager. So I'm just going to modify this page. I want this to be an A1 sheet. So go A1. That's good. And make this one to one. Make sure this is all one to one millimeters. Press OK. Close. And you can see now it's fixed my sheet. So if this was an A1 sheet, for example, and I double click in here and I scale 1 to 1,000, for example, or 1 to 500. If you don't have that scale here, I'll show you exactly what you need to do if this is 1 to 100. Okay, so I need to scale this up quite a bit more. So I'm going to go scale uh, off. So scale. Let me just say scale. Scale. Sorry, S for scale, S for scale, scale, oh, sorry, it's zoom, Z for zoom, and then scale, 1 to 1000 XP, times paper space. So that's, this map is now 1 to 1000, okay? If the scale is not here, you can go and say custom, and you can say add, you're going to say 1 to 1000 Okay, you can use a semicolon. And here you're going to say drawing units 1000 and it, you'll achieve the same results. So if I went here and I clicked 1000, it was exactly the same results. So if I went to 100, that's at 1 to 100, for example. And this is an A1 sheet and this is at scale 1 to 1000. Okay, just remember in model space, we're always drawing 1 to 1. And on paper space, we scale, we use the viewport to scale the image to the correct scale. Once you've scaled the image to the correct scale, you can lock the viewport, which means that this is now fixed. And you can go and print this with import downstairs, or you can get this printed somewhere. And now you can start drawing over this to capture some of the contextual information. So like where the roads come in, where this road will go, some of the outbuildings. Okay, so this is just a brief introduction on how to use images in AutoCAD and scale them correctly and to set up your drawing environment and your paper space. Okay. And what's neat is if you're using the XREF manager, you can unload an image. It's still loaded. And if you need to bring it back in, you can say reload to keep your drawing environment clean, or you can simply use the layer tool. Okay. All right. So once that's loaded, okay, you can also select the image and you can adjust the fade of the image if you're going to use other line work over and you can reintroduce the fade as well. Okay, so you can fade these images if you want to work over them, for example, but this applies to any image that you want to trace. Okay, I hope this has been helpful.